Hey guys, I'm here with Mr. Bowden, our super sweet golden retriever puppy who goes home tomorrow. And before he does go home, I want to make a quick video for his family to refer back to on how to live with your dog after training. When to tap the remote, what number to use, how to use the tone of voice, and also how to use the training throughout the day. We use the phrase constant command for the first few weeks and we kind of mean that. Your dog should either be in his kennel, on a place bed, in a downstay, healing with you, or on break, supervised. Nice job, buddy. All right, so Mr. Bowden's in his kennel. The kennel should be large enough that he can stand up, turn around, and lie down in. It can have a water bucket, a comfy bed, some toys to chew on, bones, whatever he likes to do in there. You should also feed your dog in there every single meal to keep them safe and keep it a valuable place to be. Nice job, boy. All right, when I open this door, he knows not to burst out. Hi, buddy even with baby talk. My expectation for the kennel is calmness. He's in there, he needs to be calm, whether he's napping or just watching the world go by. Very good boy. Now to get my dog out of this kennel or the car or any threshold, I could tell him to break and he'll run out and have fun. Or I can tell him to C-O-M-E or tap the tone or both. And he should come and stay in a stationary position. So he's nice and managed coming out of that kennel. I recommend always releasing your dog out of kennels using recall. Come. He hesitates, so I tap the tone just to tell him he has the right choice. He comes out and he sits. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Your dog should be in the kennel anytime you don't have an eye on them. So when you're taking a shower, when you leave the house for even five minutes, and overnight while you sleep. Good boy. So he comes out. He's in a nice controlled position in a down stay, double down with his chin on the ground. Very good. And now what I'll do is I'll heal him through the house. Let's say that he just woke up, I got him out of the kennel, he needs to go to the bathroom in the backyard. I would heal him out that door to the yard. But right now we'll just heal around the kitchen a little bit. Heal. Good job, pat my leg. Good boy, look at that tail. He's such a good boy. They're really gonna enjoy this new and improved Bowden. Good boy. Nice job. Now just like recall to my feet, getting out of that kennel, heal is a movement command. So if I'm moving and I want him to heal, I can also tap that tone and he knows that means, oh, follow the person. Good job. Very nice. We can heal over here. If I stop, he should automatically sit. Good boy. I can tell him to down. Good job. When I give a command, my voice is clear and loud. To double down him, I can say N-O. I can simply tap this. I could say shush. Or I could say down again. What a good boy. He shifts his hip and relaxes. I can leave him there, he stays, and come over here and show you a silent recall. I don't need to say anything, my dog hears the beep and he knows that means shh, sniffing, come. Nice job, so I corrected for sniffing right there. Um, somebody must have dribbled some pee or drool, and that's okay. I have a way to tell my dog, hey, you're working, it's not time to sniff. So a simple tap, and then I reiterated, you're supposed to be recalling right now. Tap the tone again, very nice. But very matter of fact, I'm not angry, I'm not yelling, I'm not grabbing or hurting my dog. Very good boy. All right, I can show you place. Bow, place. And he follows my pointed finger to the place bed. Very nice, and lies down automatically. Very good boy. Now people always ask me, how long should my dog be on place? And I'd say at least 30 minutes a day, uh, minimum. Uh, <laughs> and your dog could be up here for as long as you need them to be, while you're in a conference call, while you're watching a movie, while you're having dinner. It's a really nice place to include your dog without having them underfoot or on your nice couch. Good boy. Very nice. And just like the kennel, they can have a comfy blanket, they can have some bones to chew on, but it's not a play place, so it's not a place to have play toys to squeak and throw around. Good boy, honey. Nice job. Now, of course, you didn't get a dog to stay on a place bed or in a down state or in a kennel all day. So to get him out of command, I can tell him, Bowden, break! Yay! Hi, buddy! And now you've got your puppy. Now he's free to do whatever within reason. He still can't bark out the door. He still can't climb on the couch unless he's invited. But he's free to grab a toy. I don't have any toys out here. Sorry, bud. And play and just hang out with the family. As long as you're monitoring him to make sure he's not making any silly choices. Break! Good boy, nice job. So same happy Bowden, new and improved. Good boy, such a good dog.